And a lot of people go out and try and define what's the next thing they're going to do. And so what I did is I, I ran a Jim Collins on my life. So Jim Collins is a professor here. Um, and he defines this, these three circles that you need to sort of coincide in order for you to be, I, I believe, to be happy. Um, one of them is a question about what your passion is. What are you really passionate about? Because if you're not passionate about something, it's really hard to wake up in the morning and go do it every day for 15 years. And so I asked my question, what am I really passionate about in life? And I came back with a set of things that was totally different than just beating Oracle or just be building yet another version of software. I was born in Israel. I feel a huge debt to Israel. I was very passionate about Israel. I mean, I get really annoyed when I hear news, bad news is coming from Israel. So that means I'm passionate. I'm very, very passionate after seeing Al Gore on stage live here at Stanford about climate change. And I'm very passionate about making sure my kids know what to do with their lives when they grow up. And so I look at these things and I'm saying, okay, what, how do you do something about peace in the Middle East, climate change, and your kids all at the same time? Big passions, right? Huge passions. Second question is, what are you the best at in the world? So I asked that question, what, what really am I best at? And it's not just, I didn't think it was just software. What I'm really good at is taking really big problems and breaking them into a lot of small problems, solving the so small problems or finding people who can solve the so small, and then putting it back together into a full system. I'm a problem solver. And so I said, OK, what technological problem can you solve that affects peace in the Middle East, and climate change. And the last question is the economic driver. And I'm not economically driven anymore by making more money. But what I'm economically driven is by making a business that makes a lot of money so that it scales by itself. It's a sort of a self-funding model. So that's the third piece. 